Hello, everybody. So glad you're with us again today. It's Pastor Zach here. My brother Bobby is with me. And uh, we're talking about prayer and revival, encouraging you that God wants to move in your life and do great things in our nation. Bob, we've been using that verse. We used it yesterday. You read it to us out of 2 Chronicles 7, mm -hmm. 14. If my people, mm -hmm. which are called by my name, would humble themselves and seek my face and mm -hmm. turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. And I will bring healing to their land. I will forgive their sins and bring healing yes. to their land. That's the promise of God's word. Yes. You know, you know, Zach, I'd like to back up and read a, lot, a couple uh, of scriptures. Uh, actually, it starts Second Chronicles uh, 7, verse 12. Hmm. And, and really, this is about God's second appearance to Solomon. And the Bible says, Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer. Uh, you, you know, Zach, you know, when I pray, I want God to hear. Yes, sir. And he said, I've heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. Mm. Mm. And when I shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people... And then he said, if, if my, my people. people. You know, Zach, when we read that, uh, I, I don't think I've experienced locusts. But, uh, uh, you know, we have a lot of issues in our land. And, and uh, you know, recently I've just had people talk with me about, you know, for example, the fires uh, in, in California. I think the worst that they've been yeah, in ever. years and years. And and uh, people ask, could this be the judgment of God? Well, if you go back to the word, he said, if I shut up heaven and there's locusts that devours the land or pestilence, and mm -hmm. we see these many things happening in the land, it just makes us realize that much more how much we really need to be turning back to God. And isn't that what revival is? It's just oh. not me uh, saying... God, forgive me of my sins and getting up off of my knees or my place of prayer sure. and leaving and returning back to that same person that I was. No, it's really about making the Lord realizing that he's the source of our life and blessing. You know, when you said, if I shut up the heaven and there be no rain, now we have to think about in that day, mm -hmm. their idea of the rain and, and the heaven being open, yeah. which means... God's favor was on them and the rain would signify the blessing of the Lord coming down upon the land to cause the crops and everything else to flourish. Mm -hmm. So they realized that's what he was getting, wanting them to say. I'm the source of blessing. Mm -hmm. I'm the source of yes. life. And if it gets shut off, you need to realize that you have turned yes. from me the source of life. You know, you know, Zach, uh, bringing that phrase back up, uh, when I shut up heaven, you and I both know, and anyone that's listening, perhaps, you know, I probably have said this from time to time through the years, but, you know, I've heard people say, well, I just, I come to church, I just don't feel nothing. Mm. It's, it's like, it's like heaven is just shut up, or God don't answer my prayer. I feel that I'm praying you know, my prayers go no further than the walls within this church. I've heard many, many people say that. Mm. But then you wonder, okay, God is a great God and a good God. And he, he desires to give us good things. And when I pray, the Bible says, and humble myself, then he hears from heaven. Yeah. Well, you know, we've got to deal with those things on the inside of us. Uh, yeah. Well, really, Bob, what you just said, we all I think we've all been there. and We probably all said that maybe some of you are there right now. And, and you know, the issue is if I just come back to say, God, I need yes. you. Amen. It's, you know, really simple. Somebody asked me on this past weekend as I was praying, they felt like they had gotten away from the Lord. And I heard this a long time ago, Bob. Where do you get back on? How can I get back to God? You know where I get on at? Where I got off. I come mm -hmm. back to that spot to where I just say, Lord, 
I need you in my life. Friend, if that's where you are today, you're in that spot that feels like the heaven is brass are closed up over you. The answer lies in the word that we've just been sharing. Just humbling yourself before God to say, God, I can't do this without you. I need you. And you know what? I believe the Bible says God doesn't turn his ear away, mm -hmm. but he'll reach out to you and he'll hear and answer your prayer. Reach out to him today, won't you? We're having a great time. I'm believing with you, Bob. We're agreeing together yes. that revival mm -hmm. is coming to the lives of our people. Amen.